Hi and welcome to the Windows 8 videos. You may have already come across a situation with your computer where you would like to play a DVD and there is no way to do it. That's because Windows 8 no longer supports DVD playback as standard. I don't know why Microsoft have done this. Uh, I can't think of any good reason why it would be a good idea to make something difficult for people when previously that feature was available to them. However, the good news is that it's quite easy to get around. You just need to install a bit of free software and you're back in business. Now there are two ways that we can approach this. We can do it within the Metro interface, but as I've mentioned previously, if you have anything but a tablet computer, then I don't see the advantage of using the Metro interface. You might like it and that's fine. I prefer to use the normal desktop part of Windows 8. So if you have a laptop or a desktop, it's probably better to install a desktop DVD player and you can do that free of charge. However, we'll have a look at some of the options available within the Metro interface or some of the apps that are available as well. So if we go in and have a look at the Microsoft Store and search for the term DVD player, you're going to see a bunch of results. Now, personally I find this all fairly scrappy. You've got many different apps, some you've got to pay for and some are free and you do need to be careful because certain players don't play back DVD. So for example, Zeal Player, from what I can see here, only plays WMV or MP4 files, not the DVD files that we need to play. So you need to be careful. Any of these apps that do look useful, for example, Power DVD, you cannot download from the store. You have to go to the publisher's website to purchase the app. And if we have a look, you can see that the app costs almost $90 Australian. So I don't know about you, but I'm not prepared to pay $90 just to watch the occasional DVD on my laptop. So what can you do? Well, if we go back to the main desktop area, I suggest you go ahead and install a desktop app to play DVDs, and you can do this for free. If you have Windows 8 Pro, you can upgrade and have the Windows Media Player Pack installed on your computer. Again, that's a minimum of a $10 purchase, and you do need to have Windows 8 Pro, which you might not have. By far, the easiest solution is to install something like VLC Player. So how do we install that? Well, go to your internet browser, go to google.com, and then simply type in VLC player for Windows. And then we can go ahead and take the first option. It's free at this stage. However, considering they do solve a problem for us, it might be worthwhile giving them a small donation. Just take the first package here, the installer package, click the main orange area. And what this will do is commence the download to your computer. And you can see here, I'm being prompted, so we can just go ahead and press run, or you can save it to a location if you would like to install it again later on. So I'll select run. If you see an error like this saying that the publisher of this particular app could not be verified, are you sure you want to run the program? We know that it's a legitimate program, so we'll just select run. What that is is just security that Microsoft have built into Windows 8. You'll see the user account control notification, select yes. Language, next, I just select next. For this section again next and then go ahead and press install once that's completed you can just select finish you can leave these ticked or you can untick them this is just automatically retrieving information about the movie and this will check for updates of the VLC player you can probably leave that one ticked and then select continue we can see here that Windows VLC player has started if for whatever reason you need to start it manually you can just go to start all programs and it's under Video Land, so it's a little bit of a trick. Video Land, and then select VLC Media Player, and it will launch this player here. So if you want to play a DVD that you've got in your drive, it's really quite simple. All you need to do is go to Media. You can go down to Open Disk. Now there are a number of options. You can open a folder, uh, and you can open a file if, for example, you've already converted a DVD to a file. But in this example, we'll just select Open Disk, so we can see here across the tabs, we're on disk and we are using a DVD and just leave it as your D drive. So this is the drive where the DVD has been inserted into. If you need to change this device, you can select browse and you would pick another drive. But in this example, we are using the DVD drive. If yours isn't on the DVD drive, you can just select it this way and then select like so and then select play. And you can see here now that the DVD has started playing and we can just go ahead and operate it like a normal DVD. We select the language we want and it will go away and start playing the DVD. So in my opinion that's the best and easiest way to play DVDs on your Windows 8 machine. Now for some of you you're going to want to take this DVD and convert it and put it onto your iPad or Samsung Galaxy or whatever device that you've got. 
phone or tablet. How do you do that? Well, go ahead and watch one of my videos there about installing DVD Fab onto Windows, and that will show you the program that you need to download and how to convert one of your DVDs over so that you can then go ahead and use it on one of your other devices. So that covers the movie app and DVD playback on your Windows 8 computer.